I have been working on the development of a new technology for the extraction of fine gold from various ores, and I'm going to demonstrate to you what this process, how it works. a number of people that and one of the main questions they have is uh, a huge consideration for the viability of the uh, your process could you elaborate for us so we have a greater understanding as to what you have that really nobody else has at this particular time sure uh, I think that'd be important well that's where the economics of course of being able to do the chemical extraction come into play it's a very important uh, uh, benchmark in, in developing our chemical extraction process that it be economic. Right. And uh, the, the particular leach system that I use and the solvent exchange chemicals that I use in my leach system are uh, very uh, common chemicals that can be uh, easily purchased at fairly low prices in bulk. Uh, they can be utilized over and over and over again. Uh, nothing ever gets thrown away. There is no waste product to be disposed of. Uh, we simply utilize the chemicals over and over and over again. Uh, that helps economics tremendously. Typically, when, when I look at the cost of, of extracting an ounce of gold using chemical extraction, using my process, we're typically looking at something in the range of an 80 to $100 per ton wow. or per ounce of, of gold in terms of being able to, to do the extraction. Uh, that, that, that is a very economic number compared to the cost and so forth that large mining companies have in terms of being able to extract ores from underground and do all the processing and the cyanide leaching and so forth. Uh, they run into costs that are much higher than that. Typically, they run something like $1,200 or $1,100 or $1,000 right, an, so uh, right. an ounce for the cost of, of, of gathering their gold. Well, of course, you know, we're only dissolving one pound samples at a time in laboratory type tests. When right. we're doing this in production, we're doing one ton at a time. So we have 2,000 times as much gold that would form if we're processing a ton of material. Right. So now you start to get much larger abundances of gold powder each time you do this step. The fact is that we're, it, this is directly scalable from the laboratory beaker all the way up to the full 500 gallon tanks that we do one ton processing in on a production basis. Gotcha.